How to set up security options in AAA POS Retail Manager AAA POS Retail Manager security allows you to control your staff's access to certain areas and functions within Retail Manager. Setting up and administering security is a straightforward process. This is done in three easy steps. Information is presented in a sequence designed to assist you in the setup of Retail Manager security. Security settings or access restrictions are assigned via staff groups that you create. A security staff group allows you to set access privileges that can be assigned to a number of staff members. In this way you can group staff by the level of access you might want them to have. For example, you might want only one administrator who can have full access to all parts of retail manager, a group of store managers who have access to most areas and a staff group that might be specifically set up for staff whose duties only include POS operations. Creating staff groups and assigning different access privileges to each one is a simple and effective means of creating a hierarchical security system in Retail Manager. When a staff member accesses Retail Manager with security enabled, they must sign on to gain access to the Retail Manager shopfront. They may first have to choose the sign-on method, depending on whether you have chosen to display the sign-on method window when Retail Manager starts. Once a sign-on method has been chosen or if the sign-on method is already set, the sign-on window appears. A staff member must enter their staff number and password to gain access to the Retail Manager shopfront. Once a staff member has signed on, they can then use Retail Manager with access restrictions based on the staff groups to which they belong. Using security settings, you restrict access to certain areas of Retail Manager. If a staff member attempts to access an area or function of Retail Manager from which their access is restricted, the security override window appears. To gain access to the restricted area or function, another staff member who has appropriate privileges must enter their staff number and password in the security override window. Once a restricted function or area has been used, security once more reverts to the level of restriction of the staff group of the original signed on staff member. Further attempts to access restricted functions will cause the security override window to appear. Step 1. If you used a security password in your previous version of AAA POS Retail Manager, your password is required to open the security window and is also used to password protect your shopfront. When you first open the security window, one or two staff groups will be predefined, the old security staff group and the administrator staff group. The old security staff group is created if you had security settings in a previous version of Retail Manager and you have upgraded to Retail Manager version 12. These security settings have been saved and converted to a staff group to reduce the time required for you to set up security in your new version of Retail Manager. The administrator staff group is automatically created and cannot be edited or deleted. Users assigned to this group have full access to all windows and functions within Retail Manager. To enable security, you must assign at least one staff member to the administrator staff group. To create staff groups, go to the setup menu and choose security. The create edit staff groups tab appears. Select create. The create staff group window now appears. In the name field, type the name you want to use for this staff group, for example, this could be manager or staff and press tab. The cursor automatically moves to the abbreviation field. A suggested abbreviation is displayed in the abbreviation field. Press tab to accept the abbreviation or type an abbreviation of your own. You can enter an abbreviation up to five characters long. In the description text box, enter description of the staff group you are creating. For example, POS only. When you have completed the fields within the Create Staff Groups window, select OK. The new staff group is added to the list of staff groups in the Create Edit Staff Groups view. To edit staff groups, 
You can edit the name, abbreviation and description of a staff group you have created from the Create Edit Staff Groups view. Highlight the staff group you want to edit. Select Edit. The Edit Staff Group window appears. Please note, you cannot edit the Administrator Staff Group. From the Edit Staff Group window, you can change the staff group name, abbreviation and description. To change these details, select or tab to the appropriate fields and enter the new details. Now select OK. To delete staff groups, highlight the staff group you want to delete and select Delete. Please note, you cannot delete the administrator staff group. A warning message appears. Select Yes if you are certain you want to delete the specified staff group. Select Apply to save your changes. Select OK to close the security window. When you have created staff groups, the next step, step 2, is setting your security options by restricting your staff from accessing areas in Retail Manager of your choosing. For more information, see how to restrict staff group privileges in AAA POS Retail Manager.